send. So I'd set up a send via a bus. So I'm going to bus. See, there's already a, a reverb bus. So on this bus, it says reverb. What we need to do, though, is to create a couple of aux tracks so we can send that signal to it. So let's go ahead and stereo, and we want to do aux tracks, and let's do four, four aux tracks, and create. And there are our aux tracks. Now you'll notice it sort of put them right in the middle. Probably not my, wasn't really what I really wanted to do. So let's go ahead and move these over. I like to have them uh, after the master. I like to keep things organized. So in any case, I have this send, send a, let me just turn off the other sends, F and J. So now we have inserts and sends. So I'm going to send to my reverb. I'm going to rename this, though. Let's just call this send1. I don't want to confuse anybody. So here's send1. Now notice when I click on it, I get this floating bar that comes up. And this is how much of that send I can send to it. Now, I really don't want to see it that way. If we go up under View, and we look at sends A through E, I can say send A. And that turns all of my sends and gives me a little dedicated channel strip. So I don't have to keep opening them. I can see them all at once. So on this track, this is my clavinet track, right? Let me move over to my, my first aux track. So on my aux track, notice the I.O. section, it says no input. Let's go ahead and set that up for bus send one. So I'm going to mute this for a second. And I'm going to solo the clavinet. Hit play. So here's the dry signal that's coming through. So as I bring this up, I'm going to hit Option and click on it. So now I'm sending a copy of this dry signal. It's going out via bus 1 and 2. And you'll notice here, it's being received by bus 1 and 2. So on this bus 1 and 2, like, we're not actually able to hear it. If I, t if I take off this mute, if I solo it, it's going to get twice as loud. It's a dry signal. I'm sending an exact replica via bus 1 and 2 over to aux number 1. So aux number 1, I'm going to put a reverb on it. I go up to the top where the insert is. Now on the insert of my aux, I can click and I can pick, say, a reverb. Let's try a spring reverb. And we'll just pick a patch. A nice slapback reverb. So now you're getting that sense of a